The HP Elite Dragonfly laptops represent HP's highest class of business devices, and we've seen some really good offers for its G3 variant. Sadly, it's no longer a convertible, however, it still retains its touchscreen functionality, making it optional. How does that affect its use? Stick with us to find out. While no longer having a 360-degree hinge, the laptop Dragonfly G3 still has the metal build, using an aluminum-magnesium alloy to keep it light and thin, with a weight of only 990 grams and a profile of 16.4 millimeters. The weight is very well balanced, so the laptop feels even lighter in hand. The edges of the chassis and lid are rounded, which gives the impression of an even thinner device. On the other hand, they also make the lid harder to open with one hand. Once opened, the lid can lay completely flat, showing off thin bezels and a glass cover over the display. The top one houses an HD webcam with an IR sensor and a proximity sensor, locking the laptop the moment you step away from it as well as unlocking it as soon as you show your pretty face. Lastly, there's an ambient light sensor that automatically adjusts the brightness depending on the conditions. On the base, we have a long horizontal grille that serves as an exhaust vent, a keyboard, and an enormous touchpad. The keyboard has pretty large keycaps with long key travel and clicky feedback. It has a separate button for the fingerprint reader. The touchpad, with its large and smooth surface, provides an excellent experience, being plenty responsive and accurate. The input-output on the sides is a bit scarce. The left side has an HDMI 2.0 port, a SIM card slot, and a Thunderbolt 4 port. On the right, there's one more Thunderbolt 4 port, one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. HP is in a unique position, offering a 3-2 IPS touchscreen display with an FHD Plus resolution. It's even taller than 16 to 10 displays, which means extra pixels that a multitasker such as yourself can find a use for. The touchscreen functionality doesn't find a lot of use, so why would you use it when you've got a whole touchpad and keyboard, which are more precise? Still, the display is good, with a peak brightness of 361 nits and 96% sRGB coverage. The display also gets very accurate colors with our design and gaming profile, which lowers the Delta E value to 1.0, which is exceptional. We'll leave links to all of our profiles in the description below. The Bang and Olufsen setup of the Elite Dragonfly G3 delivers loud audio with great quality and no significant deviations across the entire frequency range. All in all, props to HP and their audio partner. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The laptop has several Alder Lake U-series processors, including some V-Pro variants which are tailored for enterprise use, with better stability and security. Here we have the Core i7-1255U, which doesn't score as well as we hoped it would, at benchmarks at least. We still had a great experience using it, as the 10 cores offer snappy performance, loading apps, and projects quickly. The benchmark scores are quite surprising, especially since the cooling setup looks to be able to handle more with two fans and one bulky heat pipe. During our stress test, the CPU shows good results in short loads, going up to 42 watts in the first 10 seconds of the test while relaxing a bit in longer runs. As for comfort, the two fans aren't as noisy as we had expected, while the base remained slightly warm, but nothing uncomfortable, with a hot spot of only 40 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that this is with the CPU running at 100%, so most of the time the laptop will be running even cooler. The efficiency of the chip isn't put into question, as the 68.4 watt-hours battery pack lasts for 14 hours and 27 minutes of web browsing, or 13 hours and 6 minutes of video playback. Lastly, the memory on the Elite Dragonfly is once again soldered to the motherboard, offering no options for upgrades. You can get up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, while the storage is accessible through one M2 PCIe slot for Generation 4 SSDs. 
Here's our teardown video which shows how to access the single SSD slot. The HP Elite Dragonfly G3 made the controversial switch from a 2-in-1 to a clamshell design, while still offering a touchscreen display. Unfortunately, finding usability for the touchscreen is a bit difficult, so we'd recommend skipping it. We believe the laptop should have stayed a convertible, but even as a clamshell laptop, it is really good and can stand up to the XPS and ThinkPad X1 series with no problem, so if you're already in the market for one of them, Taking a look at the Dragonfly G3 might not be a bad option after all. If you need more convincing about buying the Dragonfly G3, we'll leave our written review in the description.